Hi, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video on YouTube or uploaded a video in general. I just wanted to update everybody. Um, I've been officially diagnosed with self-destructive borderline personality disorder for at least two years now. Um, I was engaged to a beautiful woman for four, about four years. Um, living with self-destructive borderline personality disorder, you have a lot of self-destructive tendencies that uh, you think you're not happy, you don't deserve happiness, you think you don't deserve anything that a normal person or health, what they call healthy person deserves. Um, so basically, um, I am single because uh, me and my ex fiance, we went, got into an argument and I said a lot of things that I didn't really mean due to having my disorder because of my disorder, I basically self-destructed my happiness again. But I'm getting better. I'm learning new coping skills with it. I'm learning to live with it. But when they tell you uh, depression and anxiety is bad, well, living with self-destructive borderline personality disorder, just uh, anxiety and depression, those three, uh, it's like a living nightmare. There's days where it's good, where I'm happy and I'm okay. And then there's days where I don't even want to get out of bed to do the basic thing like showering. Um, so I, I just basically just stay around the house and watch movies. Um, if I had a game console, I'd be gaming all day and I'd just do that. And desocialize or antisocial uh, behavior with people. Um, I'm getting better at social interactions. I go out and I go to free lunch every day at the Salvation Army across the street from where I live. I've made some great friends over there, and I've been going to therapy again. I'm also working on getting my license uh, so I can, you know, at, finally at basically 40 years old, drive a car, if I can afford one. And yeah, other than that, I'm trying to uh, live with my disorder, plus live with trying to cure my diabetes, which giving up caffeine and things with sugar is kind of a struggle. Um, I am getting somewhat better at eating healthy. I've been eating more Brussels sprouts and other vegetables, but my favorite meal right now, just without any like meat or any type of protein in it, is like Brussels sprouts with like boiled and then mixed with uh, the Velveeta cheese sauce with maybe a little bit of uh, those real bacon bits on top. Oh my God, that's amazing if you haven't tried it. But yeah, that's uh, my life right now, is just trying to go day by day. Um, I had an awesome friend uh, come help me put my bed frame together, and so that way my bed is finally off the floor. Um, I'm going to be trying to do more social things, like uh, once I get my gaming system back, I am going to be playing the new uh, craze, which is Baldur's Gate 3, because I love Dungeons and Dragons and fantasies and stuff like that. So I am probably going to be suckered into playing that game a lot. Um, and yeah, the, everything is, other than that, good. Um, just living life the best I can with what I can. And to those of you that may have a similar uh, mental health issue, I say don't give up, never give up. Giving up is kind of like, it's cliche, but it's like the loser's way out. You can live with this comfortably as long as you have the will and desire to like, you know, think of it as it is what it is. Every day is a new day. Just push forward, stay strong. Don't ever surrender who you are for anybody else. Um, what's helping me right now at the moment is I've got, I was going to buy a poster board, but I bought a sketch pad and I write in Sharpie marker, like designs of like different letters and stuff, and I write motivational things to help keep me going. Like I have um, this one where I look, I wake up and it's a big sign that says never give up. So that's like one of the first things I look at every time I wake up. And then other ones, I came up with like a list to remind myself to, you know, actually clean and do normal things because it's basically things that, my brain and my disorder and everything else doesn't want me to do, but I do it because it's good. And plus, it's 
just a good habit to get into. But that's all for now, and I will talk to you again soon.